We are looking for the husbands. But in my child of God, let me tell you, the way you walk in the house of the man does not show you that you are a wife. You are walking style, only walking does not show you are a wife. You are cooking, the way you cook your food does not show that you are a wife. The way you look, you take, you see the house that you have built, it does not show that you are a wife. But you are looking and you demand to be paid, Bola, and you demand to keep that marriage. The way we answer and the way we talk to them, it is not showing that we are a husband. The way you bath, you need him, actually will be the one to tell you, you didn't bath, go back. It does not show that you are ready to be a wife. The all day long we become people who are when you pass somebody who look at you, not because of how beautiful you are, how you, how you are, how, how things are showing in you, all those kind of things, it does not represent us. Our behavior inside our hearts, it does not show that we are ready to be married. When we found men, we, we, we change them, we want to change them to be our brothers. Instead of let them be men. Instead of let them be those people God has called them to be, we use them in a different way, which is not good. We don't apply the respect to them. Let a man play his part, and you play your part as a wife in the house. That which you don't know, I am here, I cook. I'm cooking from the dessert to the cakes. I cook from... You need to come and tell me, Mom, bring that dish you don't know how to cook. Bring the dish that you don't know how to cook. I will ask you, you want to cook it in the English way? You want to cook it in the African way? You want to cook it in the Indian way? You want to cook it how? Home tradition cooks? Bring our teach you how to cook that. You are standing, you are from work, you run to be rested, you are going to the bed, you are tired. Instead of asking, did you guys eat? Are you guys okay? You run quickly and see that what is it that is missing. Since I left the house from morning, now I'm back as a woman. Let me do one, two, three before I go to bed. You are looking for having a husband. I mean, you need him. But what, what comes? What are you supposed to do? We don't have. Same apply to men. Same apply to them. Yes, they don't have, you see this guy doesn't have a cloth. You see this, how your husband doesn't have this changing one, two. It doesn't matter. What matters how much you are on those clothes? What matters how do you look? Be not somebody who look at a woman going and say, I'm not yet ready. I will just go and check in and leave. You are destroying the souls of children. Be responsible. In your house, be responsible. Wherever you go, show that you are a gentleman. Don't show you beauty outside, not inside the house. For we are doing this for one another, for the love of God. We are doing this for one another, for what we want from God, nothing else, children of God. Prepare yourself. When you step in the house of the man, meaning you are now being controlled by a man. You give your time, you give your husband time not, you give your friend more time. You own a house, when you sit on your own house, the house is burning you because of the attitude, the behavior you have. The house is burning you, you cannot stand your own house. You want to go to your friend's house. You want to go for people's house. You rather go be by the street talking with a friend, going up and down, checking the seat up and down, up and down. You cannot make it in that way. Where there is a party, any news of the party to be done, you are the first. Anything to gather women and men, you are the first. You are a woman. We don't be like that. House is a responsibility. House, it is a family. It has to come first. Marriages, when we call marriage, is fine. But your house has to be the first thing you bring. You have to put love in it. You love it. If you love it, and then it will apply back to you. Give what needed to be given in your own house. Get ready. 
You don't answer by walking, going because you are fighting. Answer by sitting or calm. Children of God, let us learn how to do this mostly. We win the heart of love. We win it and we call that love. It's really needed in us. When you see them walking there, out jumping, it's not a good life. There is nowhere God value the lonely life. There is a lonely life that God gives you, you alone. John the Baptist, he grow up, him, he die alone. But he won the souls of people alone. But there is a life that you have created, you have been created to have family. Where are you family? You have to be a family person. You have to be a family person. Stop rejecting yourself. Stop denying yourself. Stop rejecting yourself. Stop judging yourself. Value yourself. We have a lot of things that now is on the system. Things which are on the system are not things that God created for us. Antichrists, they did those things too. Just to make our mind be disturbed so we cannot be focused in the word of God. We cannot be focused in our family. Soon as you, soon as you fight with your husband in the bedroom, you run from the bedroom, you come on the, in, the, in the dining room, you switch on the TV, you watch TV until morning because you fought. Because you fought with him in the bedroom. When the morning comes, we also stood up and go out and meet the one that they could not fought. Now they're laughing. He will enjoy his life outside. You will remain in the house sad, sad the whole day. Not in the whole day, the month will end. Please, children of God, let us learn. God is opening the door for us for getting being married. Stop being so selective as well. You are the one who knows this man is good, this man is not good. You are the one who see how he walks. And how it does not work. I don't like the way this guy works. No, I need the tall one. I don't need a short one. Oh, I need a short guy. I don't need a tall guy. Stop being so judgmental. God sent somebody knows this will be you own man. Take him from wherever it is and change his movement. Change everything you want to change in his life. Take it from there. What he doesn't know, you will teach him in the house. You will become the mother. You will become the the wife. He's becoming your father. He's becoming you, husband as well. Stop doing that. And when we speak about love, then not to go and destroy someone's house. Do not go and destroy someone's marriage. Do not go and steal someone's husband. That which I even myself I cannot judge. That which I myself I cannot stand you. Because that is the sin yourself you need to represent it before God. It is God is to judge. When we say marriage, we say, look, get your own. Stop being so selective, stop being so stealing, and stop being looking. He does not have money. He does not have money, but he has love for you. There's no money, but there's a love in the heart. Take the love and use it to make what you develop what you want to do. The love, you bring it with and then you do you, you you use it to make money. Together you can make because you become one. So children of God, remember those. Remember that always wherever you are. Remember that always. You know how to select the cars. There's a cars that you want to drive and he's not driving that car. So you don't love him because he's driving a car that is not your choice. He's driving a car which is not your favorite car. So you don't love him because of the car. You don't love him because of the way he dresses. Not knowing you can go to the shops and buy for him what you want him to put on. And you will make him be that person you love. Let us stop putting sin on top of sin. Let us stop continue creating men on top of what God had already created them. He is so quiet, he doesn't want to talk. No, he is a manly God. God had created him like that. As long as he knows there is a wife, there is a my family, he's taking care of you. Why are you fighting about his quietness? It is not a big thing. Speak nicely. 
talk to him softly. You have been given a man to be married to you, to, but you reject your husband because you is not your choice and you run away from home. That was the time the man is ready to pay Lobola. That was the time the man was ready for wedding. But you stopped that guy. You rejected him. Right now you are not with him. And not because he doesn't have money. Not, no, you just rejected him by then. You said, I don't want this guy. So don't pay Lobola. I don't want wedding now. We are not going to have our wedding now. But right now you are out of the marriage. You don't even see any man who's coming and approach you and speak to you about that. You blame yourself now. Because it's a sin you did. And you say to yourself, let me have five boyfriends. Yes, five boyfriends in your life. You become the temple of the darkness. You become the antichrist. You are not a woman. You are not a girl. You are becoming the devil agent. Five men in your life. What are they living? The Bible says, when one comes to one another and you share your body, the spirit you get from that person and the person gives that spirit to you. You come, you connected to that. In the spirit, you transfer spirit to us. She get, you get from her. Now you have five. Five of them. You are antichrist now. You are carrying a different spirit in you. You are carrying a different spirit in you. You are no longer the one God created. You are no longer the one God knows. He said one and one become, I mean, they will become two, but the two will become one in spirit. As I, God, I join them together. But right now you are counting five. What kind of a woman are you? What kind of a man are you? What are you doing? What are you creating? Why would you be value of destroying the life of people? You know how to select, but you cannot keep them. You have your choice, but your choice work for yourself does not work for the people. You know how to destroy people's kids, people's children, but you don't know how to keep them and have them in your hands. And you represent you are so represented. You are so in what you are doing, thinking you are so highly. We are speaking now, you have six children outside with the different men, women. Six. And you said they are having life. You said, I'm taking care of them. I'm looking after them. They are fine. They have never been fine. They have never been fine. They need life of a father and a mother. They lead life of being a, a, a family together. He's going to call that one my dad. He's going to call this one my dad. He's going to call this one my mother. Going, how many mother would you allow your kids to have? How many father would you allow your children to have? Let this be something that you tell me. It was by mistake. But when we talk about the mistake, they say mistake is a mistake. We don't repeat our mistake. We pray for God for the mercy of God. And God will save us. Need to understand life. Understand life. When we speak about life, you think the life you have alone, the life you go out there and start poison people's mind, poison friends' mind, poison everybody's mind by telling them, yesterday I was dressing like this, yesterday I was in this club, yesterday we were in a restaurant, yesterday we went out. You think that is you? No way, you are gone. You are out of the world, you are out of the step of God. You are not that anymore, as a woman and as a man. We give generation. Listen, we are giving generation on top of the generation. We are taking, we took out the generation of our mothers, our fathers, and we create our own generation. We took out our cultures, where, how we grown up, how we were taught, what we were told, we took it away and we brought our own culture in us. And here some of us, they are presenting themselves to be a Christian. You were born again Christian, 
But your Christianity, it is about you alone. You alone. The Bible telling us Abraham felt God took him away from his family and told him, go in a land that I will show you. Abraham obeyed the Lord God and he reached it there. But later on, his family followed him. He never turned his back to his family. But we are picking the word of God and we apply it to ourselves. And we do prayer and fasting and we see no answer and we take away the Christianity away from us. We undress it and say, I'm no longer born again. Not knowing you prayer can be ended because of you reject your own family. You bring all your family on the table and you give them all the bad news you have ever had on yourself. And here you are approaching a son of a man to be married to you. What are you going to represent in that man's family? If you already put your family away from you, and now you look for a man, you got a man to be married with. What are you going to represent in that guy's family, child of God? What that that guy, you a guy as a guy, you're going to represent in this woman's family. If you are already, I mean you departed from them, you are no longer their part. You own family. And now you are coming out to create your own family. What are you going to represent? Which family are you building in the wife, in your wife's family? It is a lost. It is a lost. It is totally lost. We are working. We are in work right now. Everybody works. Listen, we are not working to destroy our home, children of God. You are not working to destroy what you are. You are working so that you can be able to put food on the table. You can be able to stand when somebody is sick. You can be able to help when there is a need somewhere. You can be able to provide and to protect life of people. That salary, that money, it is not to destroy what God had built. It is not to destroy what God had created. The money, it is to protect and to provide and to take care, buy what you need, what you want to eat, what you want to have, but not to destroy who you are. Not to destroy other people's lives. The money we are working in is for us to be protected around. I mean, buy clothes, buy food for sure, we have to. But children of God, when the month ends, the first thing to do is to, today I bring five women. Or oh, tomorrow I get ten. You sleep there, a woman, you go there. Why? Just because you have 10,000 in your pocket? When the 10,000 is finished, what are you going to leave to me? What are you now? What are you now? I stopped there, but what I'm telling you, please present yourself as a responsible person. Yesterday, the day before yesterday, I spoke about saying, when you're at work, you respect your work totally. You even count a cent that you're taking out. Why don't you take that calculation? That you do on your own thing at your workplace because the boss, your boss is there, will come and ask you. Apply that to yourself and use that in your house. Why can't you do that? The respect you show at work, show the respect in your house. The respect you pay to your pastor, show the respect in your house. People tend to even respect their pastor. Listen, they bow down, they kneel down to the pastor. But when you bring the kneeling down before their husband, before their wife, nothing. Nothing. They don't kneel down to their husband. But they're kneeling down to the pastor to greet him. When you are in your house, you say, hi, how was it? Good, done. You can't even go down on your knee. You can't reply that to him. How do you respect and how do you think God is going to bring that back to you? How do you think God is going to pay back that to you? Children of God, let us learn. We are getting what we call 
being into relationship. We are into what we call the relationship. Being a family, it has never been that easy. It is a sacrifice. But you sacrifice for what you enjoy. If you don't want somebody, it is okay, let the person go smoothly before it's too late. But don't first allow yourself to share what the person has with you. You share your spirit, you share your blood, you share the body, and then after that you let go. They will tell you how bad the person is and then stay and you. You are the one who see. I said, the people say, I ask a lady you had with your ears. You are not on the presence. Fine. What about you that you are seeing this? What about the person who see? They had whatever they had and they told you. But you, you are in this. What are you seeing? You mean to tell the person who's outside is very more answer to your prayer than, than the one who's there. Please, children of God, we are speaking, but not only with force we enjoy to talk. In the behalf that we see there's a pain. There it is so so painful. So painful. I'm saying and I'm telling you guys, no a mother, no a father who will wake up and give birth to his child and look at you taking care of you to grow up, to be your own man or your own woman, and then you not to pay that respect back to them, and you not to represent what they are in your own marriage. No a father or a mother will be happy with that. No a father or a mother will be happy with that. When they grew you, you grow up, they, take, they took care of you, thinking you are going to represent what they are ahead. That's what they will always do. But if you cannot, if you cannot represent them, they never will go down. They will have blood pressure. Sugar will, their sugar will be going up and down. And you say, my daddy developed sugar. My mother developed you, not because they're overthinking about you. If they see you, and they cannot tell you. If they see you running here, you change your life this way. You change your body this how. You two twist this. They feel bad because why? They were two. They gave birth to you and they took you to that school. You went and you do everything. Now you are working. You, they want to see you presenting them in your marriage. They want to see you presenting what they did. For, I mean, they want to see you happy. But here they hear the news about you. They hear this about you. Even one of your sister, brother, passed away. They hear the news that you did it. Children of God, please. May the Lord be with you. But think about life that you need. May the Lord bless you. And I will leave you with this message. God is with you. Be safe. Take care of yourself. God bless you. Bye bye. Thank you.